Peatlands play an important role in regulating atmospheric carbon dioxide and serve as home for diverse flora and fauna. Biodiversity is preserved and restored when the ecosystem are well adapted and properly managed in the peatland. The Leyta Sub-Up Basin peatland used to have a total area of about 3,000 hectares, spanning four towns in the province of Leyta. But due to land conversion and human activities, a large area of the Leyta Sub-Up Basin peatland is degraded and its biodiversity and water regulation functions is severely affected and continuously threatened. The Leyta Sub-Up Peatland Forest Restoration Initiative is a four-year project supported by Forest Foundation Philippines. The project aims to protect, restore, and sustainably manage about 2,000 hectares of the Leyta Sub-Up Peatland Forest. Series of multi stakeholder and community consultations and peatland awareness activities were conducted to develop consciousness about the nature and importance of peatland in climate change mitigation, disaster risk reduction, biodiversity conservation, and sustainable development. The peatland restoration is anchored on principles of revegetation, rewetting, and revitalization of livelihoods. It started with a training on forest nursery establishment. Nursery development and management is undertaken by community associations, which mobilize its members in the construction of nursery facilities, collection of seeds, wildlings and cuttings, potting, care and maintenance that are vital activities that require careful handling and knowledge of the characteristics and selection of quality mother trees. Stock collection entails scientific knowledge in the meticulous selection and handling of healthy wildlings, seeds, and cuttings. From the source, the planting stalks are brought to the nursery for potting and conditioning. The seeds are processed, sown, and potted. All planting stalks must be free from pests and diseases. Grading and culling of planting stalks is done to ensure healthy and quality planting materials. There are priority trees well adapted to the peatland considered for revegetation. Trees like the Lanipao produce plenty of seeds with 80% germination. It should be free from pests and diseases, ensuring that the supply of quality wildlings is adequate. Lanipao grows up to 25 meters tall and more than 100 centimeters in diameter. The lumber is used for light construction. The tree is used also as posts and poles and for stabilizing riverbanks. Putat is a small tree that grows up to 8 meters tall. Putat can be propagated from seeds and cuttings. It provides excellent shade and is considered an ornamental tree due to its pink, attractive flowers. Kabak or Bangkal grows up to 20 meters tall. It is a prolific cedar, yielding thousands of tiny seeds in a single fruit. The tree is easily propagated also from cuttings which are adaptive in deep water levels. Wood from Kabak is good for furniture panels, and veneer. Suitable planting sites are identified and geotagged to demarcate and map out the area. Once the map is produced, a working team lays out specific planting points using pre-marked twines that form 10 meters to 12 meters planting perimeter to accommodate 83 trees per hectare. Each planting point is marked with a bamboo peg tied with a bright nylon ribbon for visibility. Each planting point is ring brushed one meter diameter. Transplanting of seedlings, wildlings, and cuttings is conducted after site preparation. In sites with water depths of more than 1.5 meters, two meter long kabak pole cuttings, each with a diameter of five centimeters are planted. The main stem is used rather than the branches to assure good growth and development. 
The cuttings with straight and good taper are the ones collected. The cuttings are soaked in water to prevent drying, then planted immediately to ensure higher survivability. To ensure the success of the revegetation of the Leyte Saba peatland, community peatland champions composed of women, men, and youth participate in monitoring, evaluation, and maintenance of the planting site. The success of the Leyte Saba restoration rests in the leadership of the community with support from local and national government. Through meaningful partnership with other stakeholders like the private sector and the academe, the efforts to protect and restore the Saba Basin peatland will be sustained. While people have had tremendous impact on the peatland ecosystem, they can play an important role in restoring its function and preserving its biodiversity. The biophysical components of peatland will be gradually restored by revegetating or enrichment planting, resulting in a productive and sustainable environment through assisted natural regeneration.